Praise be Jesus Christ in St. Faustina's diary. St. Faustina speaks about a powerful final grace at the moment of death, an interior vivid moment when the soul can accept God and God forgives all sin and all punishment. It kind of like a, a plenary indulgence or an apostolic pardon or, or just like the, the thief on the cross who says, Jesus, remember me when you enter into your kingdom. And Jesus says, this day you will be with me in paradise. Now check this out. This is paragraph 1698 in St. Faustina's diary. She says, God's mercy sometimes touches the sinner at the last moment in a wondrous and mysterious way. Outwardly, it seems as if everything were lost, but it is not so. The soul illumined by a ray of God's powerful final grace turns to God in the last moment with such a power of love that in an instant it receives from God forgiveness of sin and punishment. While outwardly it shows no sign either of repentance or of contrition because the souls at that stage no longer react to external things. Oh, how beyond comprehension is God's mercy. But horror. The, there are also souls who voluntarily and consciously reject and scorn this grace. Although a person is at the point of death, the merciful God gives the soul that interior vivid moment so that if the soul is willing, it has the possibility of returning to God. But sometimes the obduracy in souls is so great that consciously they choose hell. Thus, they thus make useless all the prayers that other souls offer to God for them and even the efforts of God himself. Brothers and sisters, the Lord in his mercy, he never gives up on us. However, don't wait till the last minute. Give your life to God now. Invite Jesus into your heart. Allow him to make you new, to fill you with his love, so that even now you can experience some of the joys of heaven. Viva Cristo Rey.